get some tackle in, guys. Like, serious tackle today. Let's see what we got here. So, we've got power line shrimp. bag up our own bag or our own gear here since we manufacture our own fishing tackle so just to give an idea when we buy bags there it is a thousand of the three by four with the center hole uh, bags for our double drop drum leaders snapper rigs uh, pompano whiting a lot of our leaders get bagged in these so we've got one thousand two thousand three thousand 4,000, 5,000, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10,000 of the 3 by 4 bags right there. That's a lot. Now, I've got another box here. We got our 9 by 12 inch bags right here, and there is, I want to say there's 100 per pack. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's 1,000 bags right there. That's, that's a lot of bags. I, yes, sir. So, Next one here, we've got for the two ounce uh, pyramids because that's how much we had. Okay. Delivery. All right, we'll make sure y'all sign, sign, and okay. wherever the third one is. Go ahead and cut on the burners too, because as soon as we hit the road, uh, you know, to start pouring. Okay. 
How, well, how much we believe in the fish bites as a flavor for using um, baits down here. And even then too, a lot of people always call us asking about live bait. Well, a lot of times live bait ain't available, guys. So there's other ways to go out there, catch great fish and have a good time fishing. Here's an alternative. Besides using natural baits, you can add this as an additive or a, a power up or a booster to be able to go out there and catch fish, guys. So. It's, it's a lot of work, guys, so I've got to get go to make this delivery. So a lot of this is getting delivered out today. A lot of it is getting to our shelves, and we are excited because we got more flavors coming, so stay tuned, guys. we got a lot of it going on. And reminder, there is the Sharkathon tournament coming up. If you can find like items to all the gear we have in here at a cheaper price, we'll match or beat their pricing. So... And then we also have a $500 bonus. If you catch a winning fish or a placing fish or shark in that tournament, we'll give you a $500 bonus, provided you show pictures that our gear was being used during the tournament. And then two, you get a $250 kicker if you wear one of our shirts during the weigh-in claiming your prize. So that's an extra $750 that you can win on top of your winnings already uh, granted, ours will be for in-store credit, so that could be an extra added reel or a custom rod, a buttload of tackle, or just whichever way you want to go with it. So it's, it's a great way to save money and earn more at the same time, guys, because that's how we fully entrust in our gear to be able to make it happen. So we're hoping every one of our guys place in every single place in every single division. It don't matter. Get after it, guys. Good luck. So we're going to keep rocking it. Gotta fight, gotta fight. Yeah, yeah. I think I gotta fight. Got a lot of stress on my mind. It's a nice day to go. Yeah, I got a line. I'm a caller, the whole team. Got an 80 wide Abbott here that a customer has brought in for us to spool up. He brought um, a remaining spool that he has left over here, so um, he's thinking he's got about a thousand yards on it. And we are going to go ahead and spool it on to him for, or spool it on to his reel for him, so that way he can go fishing. Ready, 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 ready. Now I have heard some reports of some red tide. I have not been able to confirm with some guys here locally. Um, and one person I definitely want to get in touch with is Nick, because he's pretty much out there every day. And this was something that I heard on the radio. Hmm. Pretty, pretty weird. But we'll see, because we're supposed to go fishing this weekend. I'm excited, because I want to go, want to go. Uh, here we go. It's, um... 150 pound test of the Diamond Gen 3. So let's see. And if y'all are new to my channel, guys, we have a Anaconda knot that we designed here at Hard Life Bait and Tackle. And it's been shoot, probably over a decade that we've been using it. And what we do is we wrap the spool eight to ten times here, and then we do a hollow core splice on the braid side and that's how we get it to sit on the spool and catch it to 
four, six, eight, ten. There we go. Now I'm gonna go ahead and splice it back in on itself, and that'll be the knot. And this is why we love the hollow core braids because if they are woven properly, they open up nice and easy like that. And this is actual full uh, real time footage. I'm not fast forwarding it. And that's how quickly I was able to get the needle in there. Um, that's also too, depending on if the braid company actually pays attention to the amount of weaves per inch that is done to make the braid happen. So we will see, we'll get it on there and go from there. And yes, I'm going pretty deep in here because we've had a customer or a subscriber let us know that it will improve the knot. I mean, we haven't had it uh, broken yet that way, you know, when it's completely spooled off. But, you know, and a little extra precaution doesn't does not hurt anything. So that's what we're doing here. This is just kind of giving you an idea. All I'm doing is using the line to tighten itself up. And I went far enough in there that the tag end is actually right there. I don't know if y'all can see it, but how it's thick and then goes thin, that's where the tag end from me splicing them back in on itself is actually at. So, there we go. Take off the clicker, make sure the drag is good and tight. We're gonna go ahead and get it spooled up. Here we go. That's 200 yards of 150 pound on there. And you can see I still got plenty of spool exposure right there. So we'll keep it rocking. That's 400 yards. That's 600 yards of 150 pound diamond on this 80 Abbott, and we still got plenty of room. Plenty, plenty. <laughs> 800 yards, and still climbing. <laughs> thousand yards of line on there guys thousand yards so he definitely is getting more than he thought he had so. that's 1200 yards of line and still got line on there so 1265 yards very nice so he's gonna use it like this because he's going fishing and that's the line he's got for it so it's gonna be rocking still plenty plenty of room but this is also giving him a good idea of how much line he will actually need for the reel to be fished and brought up so very very nice this is the rod he'll be fishing it on very cool rod this is beautiful I am thinking it's some kind of rawhide, a bronze harnell. 
or a, a rawhide blank kind of deal. It is immaculate. However, he's got a bent unibud on here and would like to trade somebody for a straight unibud. It's an AFCO 130 pound class. So if you have a silver in good condition like this, he's willing to trade. So just a heads up on there, guys. Food for thought. And let me show you. Let me take it apart real quick. Nice and clean. There we go. There's no corrosion on the inside here and or in there. I mean, very, very nice. Really, really clean. So, if y'all got anything y'all can offer him on this, it said he'd like to stick with silver, obviously, because it's already the same color and will match the rod. But um, he's looking for a straight butt rather than a bent butt.